Hello, today's devotional can be found in Philippians chapter 1, verse 8. For God is my record, how greatly I long after you all in the bowels of Jesus Christ. We long after many things, and it's because of the atonement that we can do more than just long for them. Because of the atonement, we can seek after that those things which will help us to have a positive frame of mind and have a peaceful life despite anything that may be going on. We can have peace even in troubling times if we turn to Jesus Christ and embrace his atonement for all it's worth. We cannot be afraid to learn and grow according to the atonement's mercies. For it's there whether or not we embrace it. But to not embrace it when it's there and freely offered, we cannot blame anyone but ourselves for being miserable if we refuse the atonement. Because not much in this life is free. But the atonement is freely given that we might be free from our sins and free from our sorrows and free to pursue the level of spirituality that we want in our lives. Because sin is very burdensome and we cannot be afraid to want to get rid of it. We can't hold on to sin like a security blanket and expect to learn and grow. Sin holds us back from reaching our higher spiritual plane and it stops us from feeling the spirit. We cannot be afraid to let go of our comforts because comfort zones hold us back. We need to step forward and learn to grow and prosper because it's okay to. Christ knew that we'd all struggle to accept the atonement. And he watches us and waits for us to do so. He's not going to force the atonement's help upon us. And we can't expect him to force us because that would frustrate God, God's plan of agency. In the, we can't be frustrating God's plan of agency because if God were to break his laws then he would not be God and one of his laws is that we have the right to choose for ourselves and we have the right to choose whether or not we stand of God and we learn of God and we testify of God and we have the choice whether or not we long after the atonement of Jesus Christ and use it to make our lives better. We all have choices to make and not so much time to make them. So we have to be careful. And with that said, I love you all so very much and I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.